morning dear children how are you today сәлеметсіздер балалар қаларың қалай здравствуйте ребята как ваши дела the same of our lesson is movie technology бүгінгі біздің сабақтықымыз кино технологиясы тема наш ворока называется кино технологии exercise number one look at the words in the box and get the correct order on the timeline бірінші жаттығу Қорапшаның ішіндегі сөздерді мұна таблицаға қойып шығамыз. Бұпражайын номер 1 берем слова с бокса и распределим по времени. Уақытқа қарап бөліп шығамыз. Let's learn new words. Кәне жаңа сөздерді жатта балайық. Давайте учить новые слова. Digital. Санда. Цифровой. Тент. Шатыр, палатка, permanent, тұрақты, постоянный, replace, ауыстыру, заменить, barriers, әртүрлі, разный, surround sound, қоршаған дыбыс, объемный звук, impact, объемный звук, влиять, әседеду, projectors, проекторлар, Проекторы. Reading. Уколом. Чтение. Track 2.14. Unit 5. Reading. Exercise 1. Moving pictures. Technology and the movies. From the early days of silent black and white films to our modern digital productions, the film industry has changed a lot over the last century. At the beginning of the 20th century, there weren't any cinemas. When a traveling picture show came to a town, people usually watched the short films in a tent. The first permanent cinema was Thomas Talley's Electric Theatre, which opened in Los Angeles in 1902. By 1907, there were more than 4,000 cinemas in the USA where audiences watched silent comedies, dramas, and news stories, with a pianist providing music. Color films delighted viewers when they started to replace black and white films in the early 1920s. But it was the introduction of sound between 1926 and 1930, which really revolutionized the cinema. Genres like musicals and horror became popular, as film producers could include songs, dialogues, and sound effects in their talking pictures. But some actors lost their jobs because they didn't have good voices or simply couldn't act and speak at the same time. There were various experiments with 3D and with films with smells, smell-o-vision, in the 1950s and 1960s, but they weren't very successful. Film technology didn't change much until the 1970s, when surround sound became popular. This made the movie experience more realistic, because sound seemed to come from all directions. After that, the next real revolution came with computers. Filmmakers can now create very realistic special effects and computer-generated images have had a big impact, particularly on science fiction films and animation. These days, digital projectors produce clearer images, and as 3D technology improves, films will seem more realistic. It's also possible that with future technology, we'll be able to connect our bodies to special cinema seats and feel the same emotions and sensations as the characters on the screen. But will we really want to do that? Exercise number two. Write a noun ending with the suffix er or or for each definition. Check your answers in a dictionary. You can shut the whole. Suffix er nimisi or the hoyup. Сөздерді жазамыз. Сөздерді табамыз. Упражнение номер два. 
находим слова, которые с суффиксом er или же or. A person who directs films is a film director. Grammar can and could. Can express the ability. Can және could. Can осы шақта қолданылады. Can используется для настоящего времени. Could express his ability in the past tense. It is also like can, but in a form informal way. Could болса, өткен шақта қолданылады. Could используется для прошедшего времени. I can speak English. Мен алшым тілін сөйле аламын. Я умею разговаривать на английском. I could touch my nose with the tongue when I was six. Менің кішкентай болғанымда, мұрнымды тілін мен түрте алатынмын. Когда я был маленьким, я могла достать языком свой нос. In the future, келер шақта. В будущее время мы используем will, или же will be able to. I'll be able to work on this project tomorrow. Ертең мен мана проект түсінде жұмыс теламын. Я могу работать над этим проектом завтра. Let's watch this video. Коне, мана видео на көрейік. Давайте смотреть это видео. What's the difference between can, could and able to from EspressoEnglish.net? In the present, can and able to are the same. If your boss asks you to take a new project, you could say, Yes, I can take on this project. Or, Yes, I'm able to take on this project. The negative forms are can't and not able to. For example, No, I can't take on this project. No, I'm not able to take on this project. The past forms are could and couldn't, and was or were able to, or wasn't or weren't able to. For example, I wasn't able to finish all my homework yesterday. I couldn't finish all my homework yesterday. Don't say, didn't can. That doesn't exist, and it's a common error in English. In the negative form, we can use either one, but in the positive form, we typically use was able to. For example, I was able to leave work early yesterday. In the future, there is only one option, will or won't be able to. For example, I'll be able to work on this project tomorrow. Sorry, I won't be able to go to the party on Thursday. Don't say, will can. This doesn't exist, and it's another common error. When you're asking someone to do something, use can or could. Could is a little bit more formal. For example, can you bring me a glass of water? Could you bring me a glass of water? When asking about someone's abilities, you can use either can or able to. For example, can you run a mile in under 10 minutes? Are you able to run a mile in under 10 minutes? Thanks for watching English Tips from Espresso English. Exercise number 3. Complete the sentence with could, couldn't, can, can't, I'll be able to, and won't be able to. Мана сөйлемдерді грамматикамен толықтырып шығамыз. На этом упражнение, используя грамматику, заполняем предложение. Homework. Complete the text with the verbs in the box and the correct forms of could, can and will be able to. И тапсырмасы. Хорапшан ишіндегі сөздерді қолдана отырып, грамматиканы дұрыс қолданып сөйлемдер толықтырып жазамыз. Домашнее задание. Используя слова в боксе и правильно используем грамматику, заполняем предложение. 